good day everybody this is Jimo um, here today to present another topic under indices that is quadratic exponential equations um, before I go I want some a viewer to um, take a look at uh, previous videos for basic laws of indices I also um, want to say that viewers may need to revise methods of solving quadratic equations before watching this video so we start uh, with the first example and um, uh, the example was taken from um, SSC 1998 question 7b so solve the equation 2 raised to power 2x plus 1 minus 9 into bracket 2 raised to power x plus 4 equals 0 the um, solution goes uh, thus so this is just uh, a repetition of the question so um, uh, the first observation here is this 2 raised to power x we're gonna make everything that has power of x to be in the form of 2 raised to power x and by so doing we're gonna apply some of the laws of indices so to uh, take the first step we're gonna recall this law that says a raised to power m times a raised to power n equals a raised to power m plus n so sometimes uh, it can be vice versa so it can be in this form you put it in this form or it will be in this form you put it in this form so in the present case it is in this form that is a equals to m equals 2x and n equals 1 so we're going to put it in this form and we're going to have what I have here so we have 2 raised to power 2x times 2 raised to power 1 every other thing remains the same so um, you still see that what we have here is 2 raised to power 2x not 2 raised to power x so we need actually we need 2 raised to power x so again we are going to apply another law of indices which is um, in this form b raised to power x everything into bracket y is equals to b raised to power x y so presently the question is in this form we want to put it in this form and by so doing we are going to have 2 raised to power x everything into bracket raised to power 2 and every other thing remain the same so this is our first equation we have succeeded now in putting the question in the form of a quadratic equation so most of the time we don't want to work with uh, we're gonna we don't want to work with um, 2 raised to power x we can just get a very simple letter x y a b c or anything to represent 2 raised to power x that is why here i'm going to say let 2x i mean let 2 raised to power x be equals to a so after that i can substitute a into our equation 1 and we're going to have the equation 1 in this form so whatever i see 2 raised to power x i just fix in my a and if you further rearrange this one we're gonna get 2 raised to power I mean 2a square minus 9a plus 4 equals 0 just what I have here just further simplification so solving this with um, factorization method I decided to use that here you can use any other method that you know so if you solve this one using factorization method by factorization it means you find a factor of 2 and possibly that of 4 so how do we make minus 9a 
to be a factor of 2 and that of 4. So minus 9a is the same as minus 8a minus a. So if you pair this four times, pair 2a squared minus 8a and pair minus a plus 4. So you can find common factor here, you can also find common factor here. So what do we do? Here you have 2, you have a. 2a is a factor of 2a squared minus 8a. So I bring, I, I, I just uh, brought that out and I'm going to have a minus 4 and here the factor of minus a and 4 is minus 1. So if I bring out minus 1, I'm going to have a minus 4. Clearly now we see on both sides of uh, these two terms, we also have factor of um, uh, common factor which is a minus 4. So if you bring out a minus 4 from here you have 2a, a minus 4 from here you have minus 1. So you can bring everything together to have this um, uh, equation in this form. So the meaning of this is that either a minus 4 equals 0 or 2a minus 1 equals 0. So if a minus 4 equals 0 it means our a equals 4 and if 2a minus 1 equals 0 it means our a equals 1 over 2. Mind you this is not the final answer. How do we get the final answer? Remember we said let 2 raised to power x be equals to a. Therefore, if a equals 4, then it means 2x, I mean 2 raised to power x equals 4. And 2 raised to power s equals 2 raised to power 2. If you equate the exponents, since they have same base, you have x equals to 2 as we have here. Similarly, if a equals f, then 2 raised to power x equals 1 over 2. And 1 over 2 is the same as 2 raised to power minus 1. So 2 raised to power x equals 2 raised to power minus 1. Base 2, base 2. Equals the exponent, you have x equals minus 1. That is, s equals minus 1. So the final answer is x equals to 2 or x equals minus 1. Please um, take a look at this exercise and try your hands on it. The answers are x equals 0 or x equals 1. Good luck.